a source of sound that emits a sound frequency 200 hertz. That is the actual frequency of the source. We call it F0. So you have F0 is 200 hertz. Moves towards a stationary listener. A source moving towards a stationary listener with a speed of 80 meter per second. V sub S is 80 meter per second. If the speed of sound is 340 meter per second, find the wavelength of the wave between the source and the listener. Wavelength. You mean the number of waves will now be squeezed in a region V minus Vs. So the wavelength will be V minus Vs. That is the distance divided by the number of waves. The number of waves is the frequency, which is 200. Is that right? Find the frequency heard by the listener. What is the apparent frequency as is heard by the listener? All right, let's pick the data. F0, the actual frequency of the source is 200 hertz. The Speed of the source is 80 meter per second. Speed of sound is 340 meter per second. As the source produces 200 waves in one second, that's the meaning that the frequency is 200 hertz. These 200 waves are compressed in a region of length V minus Vs which is V is 340, Vs is 80. So these 200 waves are compressed in a region 340 minus 80, that is 260 meters. So 200 waves are compressed in a length 260 meters. What is the wavelength as the wave reaches the listener? The wavelength of the wave between the source and the listener is V minus Vs divided by F0. That will be 260 meter per second divided by 200 per second. That is 1.3 meter. That is the wavelength that reaches the listener. Alright, we now need to find the frequency as heard by the listener. Well, it's now simple. The frequency heard by the listener is F prime equal to V over lambda prime. We don't need to use any of the other formula. Why? Because we have calculated the lambda prime. Because we have lambda prime, we can find F prime equal to V over lambda prime. That is 340 meter per second is our V. Lambda prime we calculated as 1.3 meter. Therefore, the apparent frequency as heard by the listener is 261.5 hertz. Now look at the difference. The actual frequency is 200 hertz. The apparent frequency as the listener hears it is 261.5 hertz. Okay, let's do another problem. If the listener moves away from away at a speed of 80 meters per second from a, sa a stationary source that produces a sound of frequency of 200 hertz, what is the frequency heard by the listener? Now remember, if the speed of sound is not given in a problem, you can always use it as 340 meters per second. So, the, the speed of the source is 80 meter per second. The speed of sound is 340 meter per second. I haven't given it in the problem, but you must be able to use that. The actual frequency of the source is 200 hertz. For listener moving away from the source, what is the formula for the apparent frequency? Can you look back in your notes and look for that uh, particular equation? Frequency as heard by a listener 
who is moving away from a stationary source. That will be F prime equal to F zero times one minus V S over V. We have all these values. We have F zero, we have V S, and we have V. So put them all in its appropriate place and calculate it. You can see, once you know the formula, the problem is solved. Okay, let's do another problem. A radar device emits microwaves with a frequency of 2 gigahertz. 2 gigahertz is 2 times 10 to the 9 hertz. When the waves are reflected from a car moving directly away from the emitter, a frequency difference of 293 hertz is detected. Find the speed of the car. So, you have a policeman standing here with a radar device and it emits microwaves from the radar. That means this is the source and the car is moving away. Is that right? The car is the listener. That means the frequency as received by the car will be less than the actual frequency. Now, that uh, microwaves get reflected from the car and is received back by the radar. That means now the car is the source. We have a source that is moving away and a listener who is stationary. So this problem has two parts. Let's break this problem into two parts and see how we can solve it. We have to break this problem down into two stages. What is the first stage? In the first stage, the car receives the transmission from the radar gun. That means the radar is the stationary source and the car is the moving away listener. In this case, the car is the listener moving away from a stationary source. All right. What is the formula for the frequency as is received by a listener moving away from a stationary source? The waves here are not sound waves. So we don't need the speed of sound in here. The waves are electromagnetic waves like light or heat. Now what is the speed of light or electromagnetic waves? The speed of electromagnetic waves is 3 times 10 to the 8 meter per second. So here this is the speed of light which is the same as the speed of microwaves. Now what are we looking for? We are looking for the speed of the source. All right, so here again we have the data. What are the data? The speed of the, the, the speed of the waves. The waves are actually light waves or microwaves. And the speed of the waves is three times 10 to the eight meter per second. The speed of the source we want to find, that is what we need to find. The frequency, the actual frequency of the radar is 2 times 10 to the 9 hertz. F prime is the frequency received by the car. Alright, let's first of all obtain an expression for F prime. Well, can you see the car moving away? It's on the corner of your screen, you may not be able to see this. So we need to find F prime, the frequency that is received by the car. The car is the listener moving away from the source. Therefore, if F prime is the frequency, it is given by F prime equal to F zero times one minus V S over V. Now, F zero is two times 10 to the nine. V S we need to find and V is 3 times 10 to the 8 and that is our F prime. Alright, 
The car is the listener moving away from the source. So these waves of frequency F prime are now reflected back. Now the the frequency that is now given off by the car are of this frequency. Now the second stage, what is the second stage? The car is now the source. In the second stage, the car is the source which gives off this frequency, F prime. In other words, in our original formula, F0 stands for the actual frequency given out by the source. Here, the frequency given out by the source is this F prime. So, the car is now the source moving away from the listener, emitting the waves of frequency F prime. The car is now emitting that frequency F prime and the radar or the policeman is detecting it back. Let the frequency of the reflected wave detected by the radar be F double prime. Now F double prime is the frequency as is received by a stationary listener and the source is now moving away. So here, for a source that is moving away from a listener, F double prime equal to F prime over 1 plus Vs over V. Is that right? This is the equation we just about 10 minutes ago derived. This is the equation for the frequency received by a stationary listener when a source that is moving away gives off this frequency. This is the frequency given off by the source that is moving away with this speed. All right. What we now going to do is, in this equation, we're going to replace this F prime by this value. Look at that. F prime is this quantity. So we will replace this F prime by that quantity. Let's do that in the next slide. Now you can see this is our F prime and this is the F double prime. You can see F double prime is the frequency as is received by the policeman in the radar. And in the question, in the problem it says the difference between the actual frequency sent out and the frequency received is 293. That means F double prime, this 2 times 10 to the 9 is the actual frequency. Minus this is 293. That means F double prime equal to 2 times 10 to the 9 minus 293. I hope you understand that. You see, 2 times 10 to the 9 is the frequency actually sent out by the radar. F double prime is the frequency that is received by the radar. The difference between these two is 293. Therefore, we say F double prime is the actual frequency minus the difference between the two. Is it alright? And this is the equation we had in the last slide. F double prime equal to F prime over 1 plus Vs over V. Now, this involves a little mathematical skill to solve this problem. Now, in here, F double prime can be replaced by this. 2 times 10 to the 9 minus 293. Is that all right? I think it is uh, slightly out of the screen for you. I'm trying to get it back on the screen uh, there. Now, this F double prime will be replaced by this value, 2 times 10 to the 9 minus 293. And this F prime will be replaced by this quantity. Let's do that. So, 2 times 10 to the 9 minus 293 equal to, that is this quantity, F prime is replaced by this, 2 times 10 to the 9 times 1 minus V 